Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Sims in Bloom challenge. Today, the house is looking a little bit different because off screen and off camera, I have been editing it and giving it a bit of a fresher appearance. So after Meadow died, our second gem, we got an inheritance of a fair bit of money and I've been sitting looking at the house for a little while and wanting to update it. So I thought that it was finally time. So let's start off today's episode by giving you a little bit of a tour. So this is what it looks like from the outside. So I've kind of tied it up a little bit put a bit of a driveway and given them a bit more of a secure garden we do have a very small swimming pool this is very just to say a lot of it is what i've done with the money that i have so i did get to the point where i only had a couple of hundred simoleons and i couldn't do any more um so i've tried to get rid of things and put what i feel is essential to the story of simpson bloom so we will add to this it is quite bare and empty obviously at the minute but we will eventually add to it so i've kept indies fabricator done a little barbecue area put a place for the girls to maybe play some basketball, have a swim. But this is what it looks like uh, outside. Moving on inside, it is uh, a bit different. So we come in, we have got a like hallway bit. I've kept this the same. So the stairs are in the same place. We come through and this area is a little bit more kind of segregated in the sense that it like is now, things aren't just all over the place. So this is like the lounge living area with the fabricated furniture that Indy made. So this is the chair that he made. He made this lamp as well, I believe. He made this little uh, chair, this flower thing. We've still got Thorn's paintings that she did and their little, what do you call them, placemats that they made at the restaurant. And then coming on over here, I have finally given Tara the kitchen that she deserves. She is a baker. She's worked in the cooking career for the last however long we can imagine. And she's finally got a space for her to work on her cooking and to do what she wants to do, work on her baking. In her colours, well, the colours of Indy's generation, still got the table and chairs that Indy fabricated because I wouldn't want to get rid of them. But then coming on upstairs, we come into the hallway and over here we have got Indy and Tara's bedroom. I put the girls' birth certificates because they were in Tara's inventory and popped a few bits in making it a little bit more neater. So this is another fabricated piece of furniture that Indy made. Oh, lovely view. <laughs> over here we have got the bathroom. So the bathroom used to be at the top of the stairs, but I've now moved it over here. So the bathroom's quite cluttered and has the colors of each gen in as well because I wanted to do that. Coming on over to here, we have got Primrose's room and I kind of like ran out of money here. So I do want to add more stuff to the walls. But as Primrose is currently in a stage where she's really enjoying fitness and sporty stuff, I've made her bedroom a little bit more fitness related. So she's got posters related to fitness, different, you know, balls and whatnot on her shelves, different bits like that. I've given them a PC each, but I did have a little look and I would like for Indy to maybe fabricate the study desk things that you can fabricate. So I'm going to get him to do that today. Um, and that is the second floor. And moving on upstairs in here, we have got Thorn's bedroom and Thorn is in her arty stage. She's loving art at the minute. So I've given her a beautiful big window where, you know, she can be inspired by the trees and, you know, by the world out outside and around her to create her art. She's also got a desk, but I will eventually, like I said, get indeed to craft one. But this is her bedroom. Again, the shelves at the minute are empty because I ran out of money, like I said. Moving on over here is the spare bedroom. And these are the kids' beds that Indy fabricated. And I didn't want to get rid of them. So I made a spare bedroom just to put them there and just to put like different bits in here that we're not going to use anymore. Um, so that is that. And then up here is a second bathroom. I, again, ran out of money, so I couldn't decorate it like how I would. But I used to have a bathroom down on the first floor, but I've moved it up now to the third floor. But that is the entire entire house redone and yeah I just thought it would be nice that we would have something new to look at a bit of a freshen up and I hope that you like it let me know what you think in the comment section below and let's jump into some gameplay for today it is currently Sunday yesterday was the girl's birthday and I thought it would be nice if we had a bit of a lazy start to the Sunday but then I I think I'm going to get the girls to maybe meet up with Daniela and some of the friends, some of their little friend group that they know. Nikki, I would like to age them up into a preteen. So I'm just going to get Thorn to invite her over and I will make a club with teenagers. So then we can kind of arrange a meet and then they will all arrive. Like I feel like it's the easiest way to do it. So let's just invite Nikki over and make a group, a group chat kind of thing. So set up a club. We're going to create a club. Cool teens. I feel like when you call yourself cool, you're not cool. Group chat for me and my friends. 
to hang out. Okay, and we're gonna add Mateo Prim. I can just bring her there myself. So I'm not gonna add her and take up a space, but I will add Daniela, Trevor, and Jet, as well as Nikki. Okay, club hangout. Ooh, our little group picture will be fire because we're hot and spicy and we are on fire. Okay, cool. Right, so Nikki has arrived and let's just go ahead, click on her and select preteen. I'm just gonna very quickly jump into cast with Nikki and give her a CC makeover. She deserves it. I will be very quick and speedy. So Nikki is unflirty and a music lover. She likes retro music, but dislikes the color black. So let me just remove her CC, okay. Okay, this is Nikki Arnold's CC makeover. And um, yeah, I think she's really cute. I thought I'd just pop some CC on her. So she doesn't feel left out because she was still a child. I wanted to age her up and um, yeah, get her going out with them on these little club meets and stuff as well. So Tara is still in pain from having a limp leg. She does recover in 17 hours. They still have this blooming sweater curse. And I don't know why, because the two of them have performed romantic interactions and they've been absolutely fine. So I don't know why this sweater curse became a thing. He just wanted to give a beautiful knitted sweater. Oh my God, look at her limping. Oh God, love her. The poor little fairy. I am really intrigued though, because I want to know. Because he's done romantic interactions with her before and they have been absolutely fine. So I kind of want to test the waters and just see if he kisses her. Is something going to happen? I'm loving how the new house is looking. Look how cute it is. We've also got some little trinkets here as well. So these are different parenthood plates that they've got. Indy got this, I think, for fa from Father Christmas as a present. There's other little bits dotted around as well. Okay, so they're kissing. There's no curse. It's absolutely fine. The thing said, don't perform romantic interactions, but they're absolutely fine. This curse is a big lie. There's no curse. It's all lies. Okay. Anyway, what we're going to do. Oh, she's doing her homework. Oh, well done. Good for Primrose. And we're going to go to the high school years world of Copperdale. And let's go to the park because I want to go to this little carnival thing. I thought it would be nice if the friends could go out maybe on like a little date with some of the, the people in the club. Because obviously the girls, when they were children, had first crushes on the heel boys whether things change nowadays we'll have to wait and see because they are now teenagers um you know their lives have developed a lot since they were children thorn has been getting along with daniela which is the sister of the healy boys and speaking of daniela i saw a really cool concept somebody commented on my youtube video and basically gave an idea that maybe daniela has this foster family thing above her name because perhaps she was adopted into the healy family when she was really young or something um, and that's why she's always been left out so Thorn you know inviting her around and speaking to her and making time for her has made her feel quite special yeah I'm excited look at this I really do like this world let's have a little look can we get ice cream I want ice cream okay what I'm gonna do is order an ice cream and give it to somebody will they eat it if I do that they can have ice creams they can go on the carousel little cute heads Daniela is here with Thorn I'm gonna get Thorn why don't you go and get Daniela an ice cream thorn i wish you could order ice cream at the same time as like i wish you could order say like six ice creams or something okay thorn don't eat the ice cream go to daniella and give it she's feeling playful now that she's seen daniella you're gonna go ahead and gift how do i gift you the ice cream here's your ice cream i hope that you like it oh she didn't like it she didn't want that flavor oh no i think she wanted mint chocolate chip oh we'll have to get, get her a mint chocolate chip we don't mind having cookie dough daniella excuse me why's your one packed up and gone it's only 12 p.m it's midday there you go daniella hopefully you prefer mint choc chip okay she liked that one okay she liked mint choc chip well done thorn and the recipient liked the gift she didn't she didn't like cookie dough which is fair enough now let's go ahead and go on some of these rides so thorn why don't you and daniella go on this ride the carousel where are the guys and why can they not go on the ferris wheel either the rides are under maintenance or the girls are just too small well daniella can't be too small i don't think thorn's tall enough to get on the ride she's feeling sad about it as well they're sad that they can't go on the ride they can't go on any rides we've come to the fun fair and there's no rides for some reason they're able to ride it on their own but not with somebody else so thorn's gonna go on oh no she can't they can't ride it at all wait how comes primrose <laughs> primrose can ride 
ride it. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and take Jet? Prim's able to ride it. She's having magic moments, all sorts. But they didn't let Thorn on the ride. Thorn's too small for the ride. Oh, I'm sorry, Daniela, that I can't go on the ride with you. I can't deal with the bugginess of this. Right, after not being allowed on it, most of the rides, there's loads of maintenance going on at this park, I think. We're gonna go ahead and go and get some boba team. Prim is stink. So I'm just gonna nip into a reward store and get her an instant hygiene potion because nobody is gonna wanna be around you, babes. No one's gonna wanna be around you. They're all complaining because you stink. So get your instant hygiene and let's all go and hang out in here together. Get some boba tea. I don't think Jet's gonna wanna be smelling you. Who just aged up? What is she doing? She's doing like a reading of some sort. Jet's arrived and he's making God knows what in the kitchen. But right, why don't you go ahead and chit chat with Jet? Jet was the one that you had a crush on Prim. So you go have some nice yeah, chit chats. And let's bring Mateo into the conversation as well. Oh, Mateo's sad. Prim, go and try and cheer Mateo up. Oh, Tara's messaged him. No! Tara, you don't want kids. No, it's not a good idea. I leave the house for two seconds and you want a baby? Thorn's gonna go ahead and chat with Nikki. I don't know where Daniela went. Oh, Daniela's over there. Daniela always kind of keeps herself to herself a lot. So Thorn, you go over and chat away with her. Oh no, Nikki's feeling insecure. Oh, bless her. Thorn's always, I feel like she's always good at, you know, boosting other people's confidence up. Although Thorn's going through puberty. She had a voice crack. Oh, bless her. There we go. She's brought Daniela over here. Do you know what? It looks so cute seeing how small Thorn is next to Daniela. Ah, they're really sweet. Thorn required the mischief skill. Where did Mateo get a bowl of garden salad from? Thorn has learned about Daniela's mess around interests. What on earth does that mean? Is that in her sim profile? Mess around? Ooh, Daniela is bisexual. Okay. So Daniela likes to mess around with women and men. Well, she's not messing around yet because she's very young, but I guess her like type is um, both women and men. There'll be no messing around. They're still young. But let's ask about chemistry together. I don't know if I've done that or seen an answer for that before. So I'm intrigued. And why is she talking to Daniela all the way from over there? I have to say, oh, Daniela said, I have to say, I find you quite charming. Daniela and Thorn just became good friends. Why is Prim on the mic? Prim, what are you doing? She's doing experimental poetry reading. This guy is loving it. Oh, he's a contestant. And Thorn's been a supportive sister. Oh, and now she's not. That wasn't a good chapter. I don't know what Thorn's kind of type is. I think I can check. If I go to choose her preferences, I think. So this is in the Wonderful Whims mod. So let's see, her preference to specific sim sex. Her preferred sex is male. But I think I'm gonna put both. I think Thorn would also be bisexual. Again, again I know they are just preteens, but I think that, I think that she would be open, you know, to, to, to whatever. Interestingly though, does she get like an attractiveness system? Oh, she doesn't. Ooh, romantic exploration. Yes. What does that mean? I'm still exploring, trying to figure stuff out right now. That's completely understandable, Daniela. I mean, we are still super duper young, so that makes complete sense. Thorn's just, you know, not really thought about it in that way. She's still exploring as well. She's just like, I think, get why is there a pineapple in the background? Oh no, that is not good. Do you know what? We've come here and we've not yet got a boba tea. We can't get one because nobody's been serving it. That absolutely sucks. We came specifically to cheer ourselves up with a boba tea and we cannot yet do that. Oh, she loves poetry. Waxing lyrical is Primrose's jam. Verses and beats were served from her live poetry reading performance. But let's invite everybody back to ours and we had um, builders in and they renovated our house and so now it's much more fun. So why don't you all come around to ours and we can go swimming in the swimming pool. Mum will probably make some good foodies up. Come on round here. It will save the disappointment of all the rides being down for maintenance when we went to the theme park. That's never good. The ride that you want to go on and it's down for maintenance. Worst feeling ever. So why don't we head back to the house and hang out there for a little bit. We've got a massive TV now as well. Um, a huge TV so we can watch some movie or something maybe. Okay, Tara is still in pain. But let's get her to serve some dinner. I 
actually, no, Tara needs to go up in her job. So she needs to reach level four gourmet cooking. Cook a gourmet meal. And let's do some herb crusted salmon. That's very fancy. So you can go do that. Prim's in a good mood from exercising, I think. She enjoyed that. And also Thorn likes fitness too. So that puts her in a happy mood. Listen to Indy freak out. Indy's freaking out because they're in the pool. It is pitch black. He's not impressed with them being in the swimming pool this late, just in case of any accidents. But I am actually, while we're here, going to get Indy to go ahead and fabricate a desk. I... Hmm. I thought he could fabricate desks. Have I just imagined that? On build by, under the desks, there is a fabricated one. What have I got to do to be able to get him to do that? See, look, fabricated desk. I mean, I could just get them off of the gallery, but I thought it would be more special if he fabricated it. And I thought that that would be possible. He's a level 10 in fabrication. I don't understand why he would not be able to do that. Let's get Indy to read up on fabrication and see if that helps. Okay, let's all take a photo. Come on, friends. Oh, <laughs> what a shambles. Okay, that was not a very good photo. We need to get some nice pictures, maybe in the daytime, but they're all watching their little show. Tara has made dinner for everybody, so why don't we all go and grab a serving of that? Primrose is feeling distant and she wants to be alone for a while. And Thorn is feeling rebellious. Oh no. Why is Jet just staring at Mateo? Tara's lighting the fire. Oh, Prim and they just had a little cuddle in the background. I saw that. This is, looks so cozy as well. I love that. Look, Mateo's there. Prim's feeling tense from being near her family. Oh gosh, she just wants to kind of stay in her room and stay away from everyone. I feel like Indy went through this exact... Oh, she likes... I like Mateo. He's pretty cool. Okay, awesome. I'm glad Mateo is becoming a, a big part of this little friend group now as well. Let's compliment his, Mateo's outfit because he's quite cool. He's quite trendy. It is also half past midnight on a Monday day and the girls have school tomorrow dawn has oh i thought she was asleep <gasps> Oh my goodness. We need to be getting these girls ready. Oh, you've not even done your homework. Oh my God. Thorn, please go ahead and work on your art critique. Ready for tomorrow. School is stupid. She's been told to do her homework and now she's moaning about school. I think she's nervous because it's her first day. It's going to be her first day in like middle school and no longer children's school, but now her preteen school. So bigger school. And who has she asked? She's asked Indy. So Indy's going to be like, school teaches important things, Thorn. You need to go and learn all the ways. Tara, do you have work tonight? Oh, you're working reasonable hours nowadays. Midday till 5pm. That's pretty good going. Yeah, you go get yourself some foodies. I've just realised um, Dawn has the same winter outfit as Tara. She must have taken that out of her closet. She's not wearing it right now, obviously. But I didn't realise that. I added that particular outfit to Thorn because I thought it looked quite arty and I, I like that. Okay, school starts in about an hour for Prim and Thorn. So let's get them up and having a bit of brekkie. Prim, you can go ahead and... Oh, do we have... I think we've got... Oh my God, someone's left salmon out all night. That can't be good. We have got some blueberry bagels. So let's pop these out. Grab yourself a bagel for brekkie. Thorn is feeling pretty rejuvenated. Oh no, she's not. Her acne's grown out of control. At this rate, her face is going to become a landscape of pus and pockets. No. You're gorgeous, my love. Thorn has gotten her first taste of puberty. Things will only continue to change from here. Um, She can try to manage it or control it. What? She's beautiful. She's too embarrassed. Conceal her acne? Why don't you apply some cleanser? Come on, let's apply some cleanser. That might help, but we're not going to put concealer. I mean, if it would help you feel... Look at her. If it would help you feel a little bit better about yourself, then you do whatever you want to do. Let's see how that helps. Putting a bit of cleanser on. Now look! Acne's never fully gone and could always come back, but Thorn can rest assured, be rest assured that it's one less thing she has to worry about. Oh, bless. Poor little angel. You are beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to change a thing about you. But go and get yourself a blueberry bagel. Ooh, Indy is going to be going to his first day of school as well. So you can get yourself up, managed and ready. You need to go and get some foodies and have a quick shower. Get yourself organized, Indy. And Tara, she does not have work until 
until a little bit later. You have multiple sims about to go to class. Would you like to follow them? Wait, we can only follow one? Select which students to follow. Oh, both. Okay, perfect. Off we go. We're off to go to school. Oh, do you know what I've forgotten to do? I have a mod where it lets you choose your classmates that are in, um, if you've got the high school years pack, you can choose which classmates go to school with you. I should have used that and chosen like the Heelys and everything. It is a very dark and gloomy day here, isn't it? Okay, so we're at school. We've got free time. We need to learn about our new school principal. Where is the principal's office? Because we've got to learn about the principal. There is a student in the principal rooms. It looks like they're on Simda. They're on Simda. That's not good. <laughs> They've hacked into the principal's account. Right, stop T-posing. Michael Wells. Where? Who runs this place? Who runs this place? Where is the principal? Right, the principal's there. We found the principal. Okay, girls, let's go ahead and give a friendly introduction to the principal. She's here. She, at the minute, does not know about the student in her office. Let's go say hi we're the twins we're the new twins we live in evergreen harbor but we got into this school learn about the principal though how do we learn about her how do you learn oh my god she just aged up into an old woman oh no she just aged up in front of our lives our eyes i was not expecting that she's an elder now oh no graduate early no no we're not graduating early. We've learned it's her birthday, but we've learned nothing about the new school. How do you learn about the new school? Happy birthday. Oh, high school. Learn about new school. There you go. Well done, girls. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, learn about new school. Well done. I hope you settle in without too much trouble. We have two periods, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Otherwise, you can have the freedom to interact and socialize. Thorn, you'll be in class one, so you should go and find your teacher and say hello. You have exams every Friday. Right, and okay, we're both in classroom one. Who's in our class? Lots of people with random generated CC. And where's classroom two then? Oh my Lord, they've got a whole mountain to climb to get to their classroom. Jeez, at least we're not up there. Although the girls do like fitness, so they'd be fine. Oh, that's the, the kid that was in, in the teacher's, um in the principal's room, in her office. Maybe she's wearing a hat so nobody knows who she is. She's in a disguise. Maybe she's good to be friends with, though. Okay, th they've got markers, all sorts of people in their room. Who have we got? We have none of our friends or people that we have previously known. Okay, the girls are doing well. Prim looks like she's taking notes. Thorn looks like she's zoning out. <laughs> she's not paying attention. She's kind of in a own world there listening on in we do need to claim a locker as well so we don't have any red lockers at some point between isosceles and scalene all sides of the triangles on the board look the same measuring angles might be fun to some people but right now thorn is thinking of something else that didn't stop the teacher from calling her on her though thorn has to think of an answer quick wait we don't know okay thorn does not like maths she hates maths um all sides on the board look the same okay well isosceles isn't the same. Maybe this is just, I don't know. Let's say scalene. Thorn takes a breath and recalls the lecture the teacher has given up to this point um, and the answer becomes obvious. She answers correctly and gets a nod of approval. Oh, we got a performance boost. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got it right. <laughs> we we knew that she wasn't paying attention, you lot. I literally said she's in her own world, but she got a performance boost. Well done. But let's go and claim a locker. So you can claim that one and Thorn, you can claim the blue one. So the girls have their lockers next to each other. Thorn's feeling really sort of tense and insecure bless her prim just doesn't want to be around any family members at this point in time <laughs> she's like no even my sister i think she's just getting a little bit frustrated they're now teenagers okay so we can freshen up we can decorate lockers we're going to do that okay you are going to add some sporty decorations that is prim and you are probably going to add something arty maybe oh gosh either and let's do kawaii decorations for thorns one there you go look so she's got all these sports things in hers and what does thorns have in it oh that's so cute okay perfect where is the cafeteria this is a massive school i don't know i feel like maybe i want one a little bit smaller than this so i might replace it okay the cafeteria is in here so girls why don't you go ahead and order some junior lunch i don't know what that is 
Look at all these Sims <laughs> that have like randomly generated CC. This poor Sim. She, yeah, we need to, maybe we'll give some of them some CC makeovers. I want to look into this Sim, but Beth, I'm going to just get Thorn to introduce herself to her because she seems like somebody we want on our side. She is a bit cheeky, but she seems like a fun thing, a fun thing, a fun person to know. Okay, we've got like a activity sort of area here, but I feel like Thorn is going to be spending her day in here. Ooh, okay. So these are the people that she that's in school at the minute. Okay, let's challenge Matthias, Matthias Lewis to a hoops competition. Is that Sim pregnant? This Sim is pregnant. We have a team pregnancy, folks. You must be in what trimester? Oh gosh. Okay. Wait, I want to get to know her because I want to know what child she has. India. All the gossip at school. Who got her pregnant? Who is the dad? I need to know. Wait, I actually need to find out. Let's check. Mario Marcus. Who is Mario Marcus? Oh my God. She just peed on the floor. She just peed on the floor. Oh no. And the maintenance man's come over and he's mo mopping it up while she's standing in her own pee. Oh God, love her. Why is he flirting? Oh, I thought he was Mario for a second. Oh no. Do you know what? Let's give her a makeover. Maybe she lives with Mario Marcus. She's already got two kids. Wait, what? She's a teenager. She lives with her sister and she's got two kids and she's pregnant with another. Do they all have the same like dad? She's got the active trait and she's proven it right. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the drama is coming out. She's out of control. This is India and her updated CC. Let's jump into the game and I need to find out the dates, but we're gonna have to summon Mario Carmela or whatever his name was when we get back home because I wanna find out how many kids has he got? We need to know the goss. I need to know the drama and we need to attend science class. Otherwise Thorn is gonna get in big trouble with the prime minister. So we cannot be having that. I think Primrose Rose did go to whatever class she had next. We've ended the school day. Oh no, it is over. Oh, end of day report. Primrose seemed a little inattentive in class today. She should make sure her skills are up before next week. Dawn turned in some good work and took some good notes. Hmm. Do you think that maybe the prime minister, they are twins. So do you think that maybe the prime minister got them mixed up? Uh, principal, not prime minister. Do you think that maybe the principal got them mixed up? Because Thorn was the one that wasn't paying attention, right? She was the one that got that thing and Primrose won the basketball competition that she had. It's the end of the day. We need to go home because I need to find out about Mario Marcus. Are you Mario Marcus? No. Are you Mario Marcus? No. Are you Mario Marcus? No. Who is Mario? Ma Are you Mario Marcus? No. Oh my God. I thought Tara was dead. I thought Tara was dead. I couldn't see her picture and I thought there were only three there. I thought she was dead. She's not. Okay. The girls are heading home to find out the details. What they are actually going to do is since they've been at school today, they're both going to create social media accounts on Social Bunny. Somebody at school told them all about this new app called Social Bunny, where you can basically connect with your friends friends and you can chat about people, you can ask others, you can tag people in posts. Um, it's the new thing at the minute. So what they're going to do is they're going to add their new friends on Social Bunny, tell their other friends about it and they can chit chat and talk and the girls are going to find out all about the baby daddy of their new friend. So Prim's got everyone on her Social Bunny. Let's do a new post and let's talk about her first day of school and say it was a little bit stressful but overall it was happy. First day means a fresh start. I'm excited to make some new friends and see what subjects I shine most in. Cool. And let's get Thorn set up on Social Bunny as well. So she's already got Prim on there because Prim helped to set her up. We're also going to add our new friend, Beth. She was the one that snuck into the principal's class or office. We're going to add Mateo and let's add the Healy siblings. And Thorn is going to do a new post about her first day at school saying how exciting it was because she found out a lot today first day energy everyone's buzzing about some more than others hint hint okay awesome let's head home Ooh, okay he's a young adult he looks really sad he has one kid and he's homeless oh no maybe 
his parents kicked him out. But he's a young adult and he got a teenager pregnant. I reckon he must have lived with his parents and they've kicked him out now. Prim, let's get your needs sorted out, babes, because you're, you're not doing so well, are you? Go and take some, take some showers, have some afternoon snacks of blueberry bagels. You need to do your homework so you can go do that. And Thorn, you're in a pretty good mood. So why don't you do some homework and why don't you message some of your friends on Social Bunny? Oh, we got a like. We both got a like. Let's send India a message. Beth's here looking like Agnes Crumplebottom. But let's send her a friendly message and say, you know, we've learned all about your life on social media and your partner. I'm joking. <laughs> We're not doing that. We'll just check in and say, like, I hope that she's okay. Lovely to meet you at our first day of school. And, you know, if you ever need anything, we're here. So Prim sent a message to some of her friends um, and encouraged Jet to take up the guitar as well. Right, well, the girls are getting on with some homework, at least Thorn is. Prim is just sorting herself out. They've had a busy couple of days, you know. The, is, that a, is that dirty or is that just how it is? Oh no, I think it's how it is. Yeah, they've had a busy couple of days starting new at their school, their first ever day of school. I mean, their first day of big school, you know. Um, they had their birthday only a couple of days ago. They're making new friends. It's interesting to see them grow and they're finding out gossip about people as well. And Tara did well at work. Interesting interesting that she's now in need of a break and is getting stressed from work. She is a workaholic. She's a workaholic, but obviously work at the minute is making her stress. She's now chatting with the girls and she's been put into a happy mood, which is good. So chatting away with Thorn and Primrose has helped in that sense. So maybe she is, you know, warming to them a little bit more. I do feel like in episodes we have seen her warming to the girls a little bit more and just getting on better terms with them. She's now going to help them with their homework too. So it's nice to see that development sort of growing and seeing her feeling a little bit better about things. We finally got rid of the fear of whatever it was, the knit, knit thing. So thank God that's gone. Do you know what Indy and Tara haven't done for a little while? They haven't done some fun time. So let's go do a little bit of woohoo. <laughs> I think they need it. They've been so busy with the girls that it's about time they do some woo-woos. So let's get them up and going. Up and moving. When you hear about other active sims, you, your sims want to get active, you know? Dawn just became good friends with Tara. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, well done. Oh, I'm glad to see that. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. I just wanted to let you know. Oh, do you know what? That's really sweet. Primrose, obviously, at the minute, as we can see here, she's going through a bit of a distant phase, but it's nice that her and Thorn get on so well. They're growing closer from quality time, and despite the fact Prim is feeling a bit distant and a bit tricky at the minute and not feeling, feeling so good, she can still acknowledge, you know, her relationship with her sister and, you know, not shut her out. Primrose completed her homework. Nice. So for their aspiration, oh, she's ordered three times from food stalls. Oh, that was at school today. <laughs> I wouldn't class that a food stall, but whatever. Anyway, they also need to give an apartment key to a friend and introduce themselves to someone new in three different city neighborhoods. Okay, interesting. Okay, so she does definitely adore her children. Still, obviously, different, difficult feelings and, and stuff sometimes, but maybe, yeah, I, I feel like over the next few episodes perhaps her relationship with her children will advance and will get better and just by her spending more time with them it will you know it naturally it will do so she has the active tray as well clearly all of our sims um get quite active in many different ways in the sims in bloom so you have the active trait this just happens hopefully she's not pregnant wait she can't get pregnant now can she no protection was used okay take your pregnancy test she's holding on to it She's taking the wee swab. Well, not a swab. <laughs> oh, please. Please, please, please. <sighs> it was a false time. <laughs> She's not pregnant. Good. Good, good, good. We're all good. Speaking of which, so Tara has 21 days until she ages up into an elder. Indy, also, he's got 22 days. Oh, Prim likes video gaming. Okay, you can do that. So they've still got some time. I think maybe in the next episode, we'll give Indy and Tara updated looks. Maybe a few more uh, uh, wrinkles. Fresh spring water from Natural Well Lot Tray. Naturally filtered spring water from the tap. I forgot we had this. It was just a pregnancy scare. Thankfully, the pregnancy test came out as negative. Tara just does not want children 
children right now. Speaking of um, lot traits, do we have ones that can help the girlies with things that they need for this generation? Skills that they need to work on is charisma, photography, and media production. So we don't need musician. We will do home studio because that's about being creative and hmm, natural light. Quality of light here makes painting and photography much easier to master. So we'll do natural light. We'll keep the well thing. What's this? Lot challenges, reduce and recycle. Hold on a minute. That's why I've had all that trash. Wait, why did no one tell me I've had the reduce and recycle challenge? Let's get rid of that immediately. That's why all this trash has been building up and I've only just found out. After we've completed Indy's generation. Oh no. Well, we're getting rid of that for now because we're not on Indy's generation anymore. Um, we'll be moving out here soon. Prim is, oh my Lord. She's taken out her tenseness and her anger on that punch bag. She's seen it as somebody's face. Although to be fair, I don't think she's got many enemies. She can't see it as anyone's face. She doesn't have any enemies yet. So we're all good. Maybe she's seen it as Marcus Molo's face or whatever. But we are going to wrap this episode up here. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you enjoyed the girls first day at big school let me know what you thought down in the comment section below don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more sims and bloom videos here on my youtube channel don't forget to turn on those post notifications and i will see you all in the next video take care look after yourselves test out what was his name marcus molo